Dear friends and members of the Swana Board of Directors, first of all, allow me to apologize for not being able to join you for this important meeting and the conference. A last-minute bureaucratic problem with my passport did not allow me to travel to USA, so <clears throat> I would like to share with you some thoughts even by a short video message. I wish you all the success to your board works and for the conference, and I'm sure that we will have more opportunities to interact in the future. Dear friends, only in the last month we have 143 people dead by dam sites accidents, one in Sri Lanka and one in Ethiopia. In 2016, we have counted more than three deaths per day related to dam sites. Dump sites are becoming a global health emergency and we can't close our eyes to this anymore. So naturally, allow me to start with some thoughts about uh, our global campaign for the closure of the world's 50 biggest dump sites. These dump sites immediately affect the quality of lives, the health and the environment of roughly 64 million people, a population the size of France. 45 of them are located nearby sensitive water aquifers and uh, beaches, contributing a lot to marine litter. And of course, they have a tremendous amount of waste, roughly 350 million tons of waste in place. We have started this campaign because we would like to create awareness in the international community about the necessity to close this dump site as a simple but still very effective step towards the sustainability development goals that have already been adopted by United Nations. We are in the middle of this campaign. Right now we have done some things that are important and I would like to inform you about that. First, we have already collected 1,500 signatures, maybe more right now, in the declaration. And I would like personally to ask each one of you to sign the declaration and circulate it to your friends, to your colleagues, to your companies, because our plan is to go above 10,000 signatures and present them after your conference at the United Nations General Assembly. We are interested to have all our SWANA members to support this initiative. The second thing we have done, we have already the first more or less success. As you may already know, in uh, last January, the first of the 50 biggest dump sites closed. It was in Brasilia, in Brazil. The third thing we are doing right now, we have created a special website. And uh, we are trying to collect materials and case studies in this website that will be freely available for everyone that wants to work on closing the dump site. I suppose that you are aware of the report we have created. I just want to let you know that the report is available in this website and also a good executive summary that is very helpful for decision makers. And right now we are trying to prepare the next step, which is a help desk service for uh, uh, the municipalities that would like to cooperate. Now, I count a lot on Swana's support on that not only with materials and case studies, not only with expertise, but also I would like to see if there is any possibility for SWANA to cooperate with municipalities outside USA and undertake a kind of agreement to support them for closing the dump sites under the framework of this vast campaign. I would also like to grab the opportunity and inform you about the great ISVAS scholarship program. As you probably know, we are already sending 40 children that are working on Nicaragua's, on Managua's dump site in school. For each children, we subsidize $1,000 per year. Uh, half of them go for its school and the food required, $300 roughly, to recover the lost income for their parents and families and $200 are the rest of our expenses regarding their clothing, shoes and uh, school materials.
This is a very successful program and it is directly linked with our efforts to close the dump sites because through this program we are going to demonstrate that there are several ways to deal with the social aspects of closing a dump site and we know very well that these social aspects sometimes are much more difficult to be resolved than the technical and administrative ones. I would love to have Suana much more supporting this program. I would like very much to see Suana undertaking a substantial support for this program either directly or through its different departments in states. I'm sure that if Suana decides it, we can uh, upgrade the program to a whole different level and I'm sure that this is something worthy not only for ISVA and the world but also for our own footprint, social footprint in USA and Latin America. Last but not least, I would like to inform you about our second global campaign which regards the future of waste management under the fourth industrial revolution advances. Waste management will be also reshaped by the technological advances as other industrial sectors have already done, like the tourism sector or the media sector. ISVA has undertaken the leadership to make the first of its kind global survey on the impact of the fourth industrial revolution to waste management sector. And I think that this is a very good opportunity for ISVA and SUANA to rebrand themselves as innovation promoters, as entities that will help the waste management sector and business to adapt to the new era of platforms of artificial intelligence and sensors. I would like to ask you to do your best to participate in the survey as much as possible. Right now we have roughly 600 participants, but only 40 of them are from USA. And you know, this is a survey that must be much more successful in USA than in any other place of the world, because in USA we are already living the huge transformation that the fourth industrial revolution brings to our lives. I have already promised to David Bitterman that in case your participation goes above 100, 150 participants, which is not a big number, according to the reality in USA, we will give Suana a special report about the results only in USA. And of course, it will be my pleasure to present the results for the first time in the upcoming conference in Baltimore. There is no better place in the world to present the results of this survey than your conference.